Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Trish and today we'll be talking about the supermodels of the 1940s and the 50s. The 1940s were a time where a model was most likely to get a booking from a photographer as she would get from an artist or a commercial artist. The 1940s was a decade in which the advertising world began to gaze more favorably upon photographers rather than illustrators. And unlike the 20s and the early days of 30s, it was a time when a standardized image of beauty was well established. The standardized image of beauty is 5 feet 9 inches in height, weight 110 pounds, bust 33, waist 24, hips 34, blonde or a light shade of brown hair. She must also have a quick and clever eyes, and a very expressive face. The biggest name in the 1940s include Lisa Fonson Grimes, who is considered a woman who dominated the 1940s modeling scene. Doreen Lee is somewhere somehow called one of the first supermodels of the world, Anita Kolbe. In 1949, the Cosmopolitan magazine referred to Anita Kolbe, the highest paid model of that time, as a supermodel. Fiona Campbell Walter, another big name in the 1940s, and Jinx Falkenberg. She was initially a model and then she went on to become an actress she also hosted a series of talk shows and interviews in the late 1940s and the early 1950s. After World War II, models were becoming celebrities, writes the New York Times. As fashion gained global prominence once again after the war, thanks in large part to Christian Dior's revolutionary new look collection, models started to gain increased public attention. But unfortunately, in the 1950s, there were narrow beauty standards. Women of color in the mid-century America didn't get nearly the same modeling opportunities as their white counterparts. We have models here and there like Anne Mary Woodbridge, showing how non-white could occasionally get offer a commercial advertisement but wasn't really being hired high fashion or editorial work just yet. The big name in the 1950s include Bettina. She kind of dominated the entire decade in her name. On October 18, 1959, Vancouver's Chinatown News described Susan Chu as a supermodel. We have a Wilhelmina Cooper, Dutch-born model, holds the record to be on the cover of American Vogue for more than 27 or 28 times throughout 1950s and the 60s. F. Barbara Golan, Carmen de la Fiche. Her legendary modeling career spans over seven decades when starting from 1946 when she first got her first major magazine cover. Another big name in the 1950s was Dovima. Last but not the least is Susie Porker. She is considered to be one of the most famous models of the 1950s. Not only did she lend it the most coveted covers and campaigns, the Beatles also named the song after her. Meanwhile, she was making $10,000 per year during that time, which was an astronomical amount of money. And yep, that was it for the 1940s and the 50s with supermodels.